It is the Saturday morning edition of the law and you were talking about workmen's compensation this morning and with us the guys that uh, they're always on the job. They've got yeah. Greg Fellerman. We've got Ed Saramboli, our attorneys with coffee. Guys, how are you this we morning? We love Saturday mornings here. It's our favorite. Yeah, Absolutely. It's very laid back on a yep. Saturday morning. I'd rather be at the lake. You can smell the eggs and bacon. <laughs> so. Yeah, you guys get breakfast. You get a little coffee. You can't you know beat it. it. And our viewers, you get free legal advice. Here we go today and our question is from Brad in Swiftwater. And Brad says, uh, I was at work and uh, a land my employer told me to go up on a ladder. This ladder fell down and I broke my ankle and arm. Workers' compensation denied my claim. I am the sole provider for my home and I am not sure what to do. It's been two weeks and I have no money coming in. Now, in these workmen's comp cases, um, this is often how it starts with a denial, right? Yeah, this one doesn't smell right at all. Uh, I mean, if you were at work and you, f I mean, workers' compensation is no fault. And, and basically, if you reported it to your employer, you got hurt at work, then they have absolutely no legal justification for not paying you. Uh, they have to. So by them denying it, uh, you know, you really need to get to a lawyer to get a claim petition filed. Uh, and, you know, an attorney's going to be able to put a claim petition in. They might be able to put a penalty petition in as well because they have, a, you know, there's no basis for this, you know, for this particular denial. But you really got to get to a lawyer, you know, fast on this because, you know, the longer you go, the you know you're not going to have any money coming into your house. But yeah, this one doesn't smell right. Well, smell and right. the truth is, this is what keeps us in business because employers and insurance companies make the wrong decisions all the time. It's real clear. The guy was hurt during the course and scope of employment. It's the law. And, right. And now it's going to be what's an unreasonable contest. You could file that petition saying it should have been picked up and a penalty should be assessed. But you know, this is this is what happens. And you know, and here's the exact situation. You know, comp was. Workers' comp was put in to protect people, and now this guy's out two weeks, no money coming in for his family, and this is, you know, this is the and reason. He's hurt. He, and, and he's, he's hurt, hurt, and yeah. they need to be drug into court and, you know, uh, be held accountable. I mean, that, that's it. That's yeah. it in a nutshell. And it happens all the time, and it's, a, you know, I mean, it keeps us busy. Well, you guys may get more business <laughs> after our viewers just saw this. So uh, for people that uh, are in a situation, they may need some legal help. How can they reach you? Uh, just call us, 570-714-HURT. See us on the web at 714hurt.com, and we'll help you out. Yeah, or don't forget the hotline. Greg's leaving you know, from here. Right he's, gonna have, he's got the, the big old bag phone. That's an, another, <laughs> he carries that around. I answer the well. phone. I've talked to uh, people. Or if you have a, a workers' compensation question, put it on our uh, Facebook page, and we'll do our best to answer it on an upcoming segment. You ever right. notice he never takes the weekend calls? It's always me. Well, he that, loves it. That's I because do. you love it. You I love like the, the people. old technology. I love the people. He does. Yeah. He he's, does. he's a fan of old school people. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Results matter. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli, guys, thanks. Don't forget, you can get on the show here with the question anyway through pahomepage.com or the Law and You Hotline.